Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use bookmarks in Google Chrome in order to help you manage your workflow better when you're remote teaching. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what this looks like on my end and then I'm going to show you how you can do it for yourself. So I'm going to open up Google Chrome and you'll see I have a bunch of bookmarks saved down below over here. But I have this work, um, this daily work tabs folder here, and I'm just right clicking on it to bring up this menu, and I'm gonna hit open all six. <clears throat> now I don't know about you sites, and it would take me five minutes easily to get all this accomplished. So you'll see how easy it was with just one click. I'm opening all the tabs that I normally use when I begin my day. So I have my drive over here. I have my um, inbox that is connected to my Google Classroom. I have my DOE email. I have my Google Classroom. Here is my waiting room that I use for when I am uh, having students log into Google Meet. And here is a soundboard that I use during my virtual meeting. So how do you do this for yourself? It's very easy, I promise. You're just going to go over here, this blank space to the right where there's nothing written. These are all my bookmarks that I've already saved. And you're going to just right click. So again, I'm on a Mac, so I'm hitting Control and the trackpad at the same time. If you're on a PC, however you normally right click, either on your mouse pad or with a mouse, um, that's how you would bring this up. You're going to click on Add Folder. So I'm going to put um work websites as my folder name and then i'm just going to click save and then if you have a bunch of bookmarks already you're not going to see it it's going to come at the end of the list of your bookmarks so in order to access it you have to go to these two little arrows that are pointing to the right and this will list all of your bookmarks so you'll see my last um entry is the folder that we just created. So I'm going to take this because I want it front and center. I want it where I can access it easily. I'm going to just scroll down and I'm going to hold down on my trackpad and I'm going to drag it to where I want it. Now I'm going to take my existing websites that I've created as bookmarks already and I can drag them in. So here's some more. Um, now, if I didn't have a bookmark saved, all I would have to do is go to a website. So let's say I wanted to go to google.com. I want to save this as a bookmark, so I'm going to bookmark this tab. It will give me the option to select wherever I want to put it. So see, I already have it in work stuff. Um, maybe I'm going to put it in work websites. So and then you hit done and you can see all the websites that I put in here are already in here. So if I wanted to bring all of these up at the same time, I would just right click on it like I did with the first example I showed you. And maybe I want a new window because these are websites and not the stuff I normally start my day with. And then you'll see I have them in a new window. So here's my new window. Here's what I showed you what I opened up with in the beginning. And now I have shown you how to use a folder in order to organize your workflow. So I hope this makes your life a little bit easier. I know that this is all new and uncharted territory for us, but you know, I'm here to help you in any way I can. If you want to see me teach you how to do something else, leave a comment. Please like and subscribe. And have a wonderful, safe, healthy, and happy school year.